G'day gang, gang, Molly O'Danny, how you going? We're back in the Lord of Rings online, we're just about to talk, well, Tom Bombadil, we're talking to him. Well, my merry fellow, ready to go, a leaping over barrows, skip along and we'll sing a song that will make the Dark Ones rattle. So yeah, we may be going into the barrow. The Great Barrows, and we'll get those quests done while we're at it, maybe. Let's see what happens. An unholy alliance is forged within the depths of Othrangroth. The Great Barrow, a sinister pact which could spell doom for Eriador. Careful now, or there your bones will lie until the whites have you dancing. Hang on, aren't we supposed to be going that way? Tom, where are we going? The, the Great Barrow's over there, buddy. Tom, Tom, where are you going? Buddy. Oh, were you just showing me to the entrance? And then he just straight up took off. I thought it was going to be me and him together. I love that you can see the flames. And that's all you can see as you get closer and closer. More is revealed, but... I always like that effect. Okay, so we're in our own instance version. Dalhand Rebel. Oh! The Witch King. Let's prepare ourselves. Hang on, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I pressed the wrong button. Um, what buffs do we have today? Duration 20 minutes, plus 10 vitality, snapper soup. Cooldown, 5 minute duration, might as well use some of these. It's only level 1. Let's go. Into the Great Barrow. Hey, this looks a little bit different to what than to what we had. Oh, actually, not that much different. We just entered from here instead of over there. Well, maybe we did enter from over there. I'm just I can't remember it. I've repressed it all. Oh, oh. Who goes there? Who goes there? I go there. Game only go down. Oh. Definitely different enemies in here too. Different enemies, so we may not get, be able to get those quests done. Oh, look at that. The tongue is flowing. This leads down, there's some blood there, I imagine the Witch King is this away. Bring it, bring it! Let's focus up. Purge that serious wound. Oh, I didn't even see him. That was actually cool. I was focused on what was coming down that hallway and then they... They just came from the sides. I don't know if that was intentional or not. It may not have been. If it was... Bravo. G'day guys. Let me just focus up right in front of you. Nothing to worry about. Doesn't really matter anymore because you're dead. No one gets past this. Alright, you've killed my men, but you won't kill me. Oh, won't I? I, I can't be defeated. Oh, he's running. He's running. Skogrim promised me. Well, what was that noise? The dead suffer no intruders. Oh. Nothing else over here. Let's go. Oh, I see him. 
The Witch King. Got some creeping arms. Come, Ivar. Come, Ivar awaits us. Where'd you go, Wish King? Oh! Another one over here. Well played. Watch your white. Oh no, it's a trap! Arise, arise, my brothers! Yep. Completed enmity of the dead, too. Well, so far going straight down corridors has been working out for us, so I'll just continue that trend. <laughs> Look at that creeping arm. Oh, this is a somewhat familiar area, I guess. Kind of. Skogrim, your dwarves should focus. Our plans in the south are reaching fruition. We must counter the loss of Amdir. The ring moves east to Imladris, Ladris, no doubt. Once your tasks are complete, Mordorith awaits you both in the north. Ivar, we shall have need of your ward in the east. Once your tasks are complete, Mordoreth awaits you both in the north. Oh, we've already heard that. Okay. Oh! You have hounded my steps for too long. And now the dead shall take you. Pursue the Witch King. Oh, crap. Oh! Bellowing Barrow White is dead instantly. All right, we're fully focused. Bit of that first person Lord of the Rings experience. Sambrog, White Lord. Greetings, fool. If you seek an audience, thou may approach. Well met, my master sends thee greetings. I grant thee the boon of an audience before I kill thee. Thou seem desirous of certain knowledge, so I will give it to thee. For the dead speak not, the white cackles. My master seeks a great power for the Dark Lord. But the Dark Lord has more designs than this. The Pale Dwarf shall go on to the north and gather an army in the name of Angmar and the Witch King. The Gaunt One, a great power himself, and to whom I owe this form, goes to the east. There is Agamar. He shall awaken a power that lies sleeping in the waters. With her under his command, the skies will turn to blood and all shall despair. Now. Thine audience comes to an end. Thy death awaits thee. Thee and thy and thine. What happened? Continue west. Arise, my warriors! Bye-bye. Ah. Ooh. That, that, that really hurt us. Thou cannot defeat me! Oh. What was that? Hmm. 
Just wait till my barrage is ready to go. You're in a lot of trouble, pal. What? It cannot be! Tom Bombadil, here he comes! Tom Bombadil is just dancing his way in. What you be a thinking? Dead men should not be walking. Vanish into sunlight, leave your barrows empty. Jeez, Tom Bombadil. Didn't know you were so powerful. Was it worth the trouble? Did you learn your lesson? Leave the dead to sleep their dreamless sleep and walk yourself upon the green grass under the sun. Come now, my friends. Warm fire is awaiting. <laughs> Look at him go. Just skipping. Skipping and dancing. Saruman the White has become the jailer of Mordor. It was he who orchestrated my capture and imprisoned me atop Orthanc. Why here the Windlord came to my rescue and saved me from this accursed tower. All would have been lost if Strider hadn't found Frodo and the Hobbits. Alright, back at the house. Talk to Tom Bombadil. Hey, Tommy, wait, 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 wait. Tom, Tom. Tom? Water from my withy window soon I will be bringing. Hey, do, merry do, my hearty. The darkness is behind us in that dank and dreary tomb. We'll make our way back into the light to feel the sun on our faces once more. Arrow, bow and arrow, bow and arrow. Maximum armor. No, maximum power. Maximum power. Plus seven will. Crit rating. Oh, there you go. It's light armor though. Prefer to have something a little bit more leathery. Maximum power. There's a level 21. Let's take that. What can I do for you today? Old Barrow Whites from Angmar came. They disturb the peace and trouble folk who wander through their mounds. Let the dead sleep and leave their troubles in the earth. Unless, of course, you wake them. Dancing on their rooftops. Hey, come, my friend. Linger here no longer. To Bree, you should be a-going. You have a friend there who awaits you. Strider. And maybe even... Merry do, my hearty. Maybe even a little bit of Gandalf there. A little bit of that Gandalf action. Oh, g'day. Dwarn on of the White Mountains. Phantom Riders of Rushcore. So we need to go to Bree for that reason and that reason. Okay. Good. Let's do that. Um, we'll take the quick way there, I think. Race you there, mate. I'll race you there. Which means we I think we we might actually be done with the um the barrows. The north and the south. Which uh well, I think was a very interesting area. We may have to go back still to do that the instance. Um I don't know. I had it I actually had it queued up uh for about I think it was about 40 minutes, 40, 45 maybe? In total, and uh, it just there was nothing, so I just stopped it. <laughs> I just I gave up. I gave in. Hey, maybe when we're done with all the quests, at some point we can go back and go with a guild or something, and just get some friends, get some merry friends to go along, and we'll do those dungeons. There is uh, the the white. Sorry, the white. The um, how was it called? The other shade. 
So perhaps we should go to the shade first and then come back to strides. Staff. What do you need? Let me just sell some things to you, mate. Um, yes, I'll keep all that. Um, I'll sell that, sell that, keep that, keep that. Probably don't have to worry about that. I doubt it'll leave my inventory, but anyway. Okay. Lighten the load a little bit. We got one gold, 60. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't take too long, does it? Have to go back to that currency guy and convert them. Okay, so the shade is behind here. What's going on over here? You and your fellows burned down my farm. I haven't seen any idea who you are. I've never seen you before in my life. You've burned so many farms and I'm not surprised you don't remember them all. I swear to you, I don't recognize you. Ugh. Well, you look exactly like the men who burned my farm and and you and your friend here. That, this might go on for a while. This may have been going on for about, I don't know, what, 10 years now? Yeah, I don't know, riding through Bree kind of halts and pauses and stutters a little bit. Seems to, seems to happen quite a bit. The Shade's Tomb. Too made of the, for the Lord of the Kingdom of Arnor. <sighs> Shining and gleaming, I have seen this before on hand of my kin, as death pilled, pulled him forth in the stone alcove where he is, where life ebbed away. We hid, had hid treasure and summoned forth death. Now shall I rest as my brother the same, at last at peace, at last to dream. Seek the black rock. Seek the black rock? Okay. A little bit of treasure at the black rock. Got new mail. Let's have a look through here. Medals, Taylor. Those are the vendors. Oh, I must have been further up. Gondor needs your aid. What can I do for you? I need to sell some stuff to you. Here we go. Alright, on to Strider. The Prancing Pony. 
And yeah, I wonder if now is the time where we'll finally get to see... See our buddy. I'm gonna assume Stride is here. <laughs> I'm sure he's here. Alright, Strides, where are you, mate? Oh, maybe he's not here. The door to Strider's room is locked. What? Hang on a second. Wasn't it? Didn't, I thought it was go back to Bree. Oh, talk to the Barlam. Oh, okay. That's new. Well, it's a new development. Talk to Barlam and serves the guests. Okay, so we'll go talk to the, uh, the barman. The owner of establishment. Oh, There's hello. So much to do. Oh, hello there. I was so busy that I didn't see you. There's never a moment's peace here, if I may say so. I was so worried that he'd sour my beer for letting Mr. Uh, Underhill and his friends go off with that ranger. He who? Oh, why, that would be Mr. Gandalf, of course. They say he's a wizard or some such, and I'll say there must be something to those tales, for my beer's never been better. He was so pleased. Begging your pardon, but I do run on sometimes. I do run on sometimes. Gandalf said to send anyone looking for Strider up to his room. It's up the stairs, just beyond Strider's room. Aha. Finally, we get to meet the great Gandalf officially, and not just barge into his room while he's having private time, staring into the uh, fire or, or at a wall or whatever he was doing. As he often seems to do. Gandalf! How you going, buddy? I am in need of counsels of my own. I must seek for high ground and look for Strider and his newfound companions. Why do you disturb me? You are lost or seek with me, me with intent. By the look in your eye, I gather the latter. Though I also sense you sought another. Strider, perhaps? Then we have both come too late. Our mutual friend has left, bearing with him a terrible burden. I am Gandalf the Grey, a friend of Strider's. If he set you to a task, it should not be much less urgent than his own. Tell me your tale and I will deliver it to him. So, Angmar arises, it is grim news, but I am not surprised. Nevertheless, I cannot turn aside from my own task, for the fate- I can't talk like that. I don't even know how I'm talking. <laughs> For the fate of all Middle-earth hangs upon it. This burden I place upon you in the name of the free peoples of Middle-earth. Hinder the Witcher's King's plans if you may. Whether east or north, I bid you good fortune. Farewell. I need your assistance. You just said you bid me farewell, but then you're talking to me again, buddy. <laughs> 